Okay, so now it's time for me to get ready. Um, I get my beard on. Get my. Uh, get the beard right, you know. Ladies love a little, you know, a little beard. Uh, uh, uh. Oh shit. Uh, I rub it in there. Uh. I'm still in Windsor. Um, this is actually my last night uh, in Windsor, and then I go back to Toronto tomorrow. So I'm gonna go party it up tonight a little bit in Detroit, since um, you know Windsor is like right there beside Detroit. And yo, tell me how this morning I messed up my finger, fam. Like I I broke off my finger. So I bought this like this blender thing for when I'm on the road, when I'm on the road uh, to blend up fruits and whatnot. And then this morning I accidentally turned it on with my finger in there a piece of it fell off right in the bottom like one of these things and I was trying to put it back in and I didn't realize this thing was plugged in and I accidentally pressed the on button while my finger was in there and it went <sighs> like all of my finger bro I messed up my finger do you guys want to see it okay I'm gonna take off the band-aid if, if you're squeamish okay you should cut to uh, this part of the video, I'm gonna take off this band-aid and show you guys. Ow. Ow. Ooh, that sliced through my f sliced through my finger, my nail. Mess me up, you. Okay, so this is the outfit for tonight. You know, you know. Swag, 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 Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. My bad, I'm sorry. Yeah, so, you know, it's a little outfit for tonight. But you know what? I think I should give you guys, like, a little, you know, a little walkway, a little runway thing, you know, maybe, maybe model a little bit, you know. So, you know what happens sometimes? got ready and uh, my friend uh, you know something came up so we're not going anymore so I got all you know fresh to death for no reason and I am not going anywhere anymore but you know it happens but this weekend I'm going back to Toronto and I have a lot of events coming up so I'm gonna take you guys on that journey and um, we'll turn up for the weekend in Toronto Tomorrow. Okay, the sun is shining, work is done. Um, but I got a long drive back to Toronto now from Windsor. It's gonna be about like four hours, so <sighs> wish me luck. how good it feels to be home it's been two weeks since I've been home and I just want to sleep relax but unfortunately I have to take pictures tonight at uh, this club that I normally shoot at on Fridays so you know time for a quick nap and then uh, we out okay so I'm uh, on my way to Moda the club that I shoot out on Fridays and I'm already kind of late because you know some of my friends came over to watch the Raptors game to watch the Raptors lose but you know what, shout out to the six, you know, Toronto Pride. And now, you know, to add insult to injury, mans are late because coming like there's some ra random traffic jam. Look at this. So hopefully, hopefully I don't get fired from uh, my job here shooting these photos. All on the lights. So despite feeling like I'm on a constant hamster wheel, 
Um, I wouldn't really change it for the world. You know, photography brings me many places. Like one day I'm in Windsor shooting graduation photos. The next night I'm at a club, you know, capturing people's memories while they're having a good time. And the very next day I could be at a wedding, you know, capturing the union of two people who are madly in love. Uh-huh, honey. So weddings aren't necessarily my favorite thing to shoot, but a good friend of mine and fellow uh, photographer Tise hit me up, said he needed a little help, and whenever I can help one of my friends, you know, I'm always there. I try to make myself available, right? So speaking of friends, uh, me and some of my day ones, you know, my M7 crew, we decided to go out to a little party. You know, all the business of the weekend's over, so now it's time to celebrate. And it actually turned into a real celebration because one of my friends told the crew that um, his girlfriend's pregnant and another one of my friends announced that he just bought a house. It's a really good feeling to see your friends grow and progress and you know for us to go into these next stages of life and it kind of makes you reflect on your own life and I think I've kind of come to the realization that I'm ready to you know like actually be with someone. I've taken the past year to really build on myself and try to grow and try to, you know, be my best. And I think I'm ready to be my best with someone. <laughs>